guys. Hey, I just wanted to hop on here today and talk to you about putting essential oils in your food to flavor your food. Did you know that you could do that with some of doTERRA essential oils? So not all of them, and it's important to read the backs, but if you see the ones that have supplement facts on the back of the, the um, label, you're gonna actually know that these are safe for internal use. And all of doTERRA's essential oils are grass. Ooh, I don't remember what that acronym is right off the bat, but if you can Google it, G-R-A-S, and just know that all of doTERRA's essential oils that are okay for internal use are actually um, certified as grass, so they're good. We can talk about if they're organic or not in another, hmm, I've talked about that before, so I'll just touch on here really quick. So also, they're all above organic. They may not have the organic label, which is fine. I've talked about that in sourcing before but they all are at farming methods and practices that are above organic, so they're perfectly safe for us to take internally if you want to. But I have some that I have um, on my sink that I use daily, and I just was putting some of them in my water, and I was like, oh, I should just talk about that. So let me go through some of my um, most commonly or most often used essential oils that I add to drinks um, or food, that type of thing. Well, I'm gonna start with lemon. Uh, I make a, I try on a good day, if I remember, I try to do this, make a glass of water every single morning with a couple drops of lemon. Um, you can add one to two drops in an eight ounce glass of water and take that back. So lemon helps balance the pH in your body, it helps cleanse your organs, it helps just provide a gentle, gentle detox, right? So we actually detoxing our bodies and our Lymph nodes, lymphatic system is super important for our health and keeping things fleshed out and moving, keeping these chimneys, our detox pathways open. And lemon is a great one to do that. It's really high in limonene, a lot of these citrus oils are. And so they're fantastic for helping our organs clean out. Um, if you like sparkling water, lime is one of my favorites in sparkling water. Actually, I should say green mandarin is coming in a pretty close second, maybe a first recently since that was released. But um, lime and sparkling water, super tasty. What else can you do with lime? You can add a drop to a adult beverage, like a Moscow Mule. Super fantastic with a drop or two of uh, lime in there. If you're someone like me, I like vodka um, with soda. I love a couple drops of lime in there to just give it a lime flavor. Um, also really good in guacamole. What else? Lots of different uses for lime. Lime and wild orange combined are super tasty in water, I think. That's my my taste. Um, wild orange is one of people's favorites, typically, I would say, in, in water. It's not my favorite, but a lot of people love wild orange. It's such a happy, um, uplifting smell, and it tastes pretty yummy. You can also add wild orange to brownies if you like the chocolate orange, orange chocolate. Okay. Um, peppermint, obviously, you can also add this to brownies. Super tasty, tastes delicious. You wanna add just like, I actually know people that add about, um, well, my friend Ilka, she just made some peppermint brownies over the weekend, and they were delicious. She said she added three to four drops of peppermint, but I do know other people that do like eight to 10 drops, so it's up to you and your um, personal preference. Um, green mandarin, I already talked about. It is fast becoming one of my favorites to add to water for a super yummy flavor. Ginger is one of my favorites. I keep this, you can see, by my sink. These are the ones I keep by the sink on the counter. Um, ginger is the one I like to add to my green smoothies. Just tastes really good. Um, ginger also balances, helps balance blood sugar and some different things in the body, so it's a good one to add. Same with cinnamon. This goes in my Bulletproof Latte um, every single morning. I add three drops. Now, cinnamon is hot. It's spicy, if you get it on your lips, it's gonna burn, or on your face, or anywhere on your body, it's gonna burn you. Um, so you wanna be really careful with this one. My husband likes it dropped on his tongue. It's way too strong for me, but again, we're all different, and we all have different tastes and different preferences, but three drops in my Bulletproof coffee, mm, I love it, it makes me happy. Um, the other thing I wanted to add is that On Guard is a great one to add to like a chai latte, or even a regular latte. In the winter time, it's gonna help boost your immunity. It's gonna taste really yummy. It's gonna taste like chai because it's clove and cinnamon. There's a little bit of wild orange in there. It's a little bit of rosemary. So in a hot drink, it's yummy. You can also do a hot, hot water 
and make an en garde tea. That tastes pretty good. You can take a little um, scoop of honey if you like the sweetener or a slice of lemon if you want that or of course a drop of lemon as well. So en garde is a yummy one. Um, oregano I thought I would include because it's one of the most common ones that people like to add to their spaghetti sauce. You don't need a full drop when you're making spaghetti sauce. So I want you to do this little by little with en garde. It's super, super potent and you need like a toothpick. You can actually dip a toothpick through the hole and then you can swirl it around in your sauce. That's all you need. Then taste that and if you need another toothpick, add another toothpick. Um, cilantro goes without saying. I know you know what to use this for. This goes in guacamole or rice if you like the um, the rice from Chipotle. Okay, the last one I thought I would add is black pepper. Um, one of my favorite yummiest treats is like I love brie on bread and if you have any sort of a compote like a cherry compote or plum or whatever that you like to put on top of the brie on top of the sliced baguette, add a couple drops of black pepper in, stir it up and then you've got this black pepper flavored compote. Oh, it's so good. Okay, um, you can also Black pepper is warming. It's one of those warming but not hot oils. Like cinnamon is hot, right? Um, black pepper, a couple drops in your hands and warm if you've got cold hands. Um, you can warm up your hands really easily that way. So there are lots more. Oh my gosh. I might as well just talk about these three, right? Clementine, the free ones that came with um, a 200 PV order this month. So Clementine, kum Kumquat, and Red Mandarin, yummy. All really good to go in water and drinks. Oh, I didn't even mention wild orange in red wine is one of my favorite things, especially in the winter when I drink a little more red wine. I like rosé when it's warmer. Um, so wild orange is in a, so put the wild orange in a wine glass, pour a glass of wild, uh, red wine on top, and then it tastes like sangria, and that's amazing. You can do the same thing lime in um, like a Mexican beer, like Corona, super tasty. Uh, lemon and a Hefeweizen. I don't know all the drinks. I don't know why I'm telling you all the drinks. But anyway, um, I've experimented. So what else? I think that's all that's coming to my mind, even though I know there are more. Cardamom comes to my mind because I love a good Oatly cardamom latte. Super good. Oat milk. If your city doesn't have, your coffee shops don't have Oatly yet, you should ask for it. It comes out of Sweden and there's no carrageenan, there's no added sugars like almond milk and coconut milk and hemp milk and some of the other non-dairy milks. So Oatly is so tasty. I love it. Yummy, yum, yum. And a cardamom latte, so good. You can even add lavender. Do you guys know that? To drinks and lemonade, like a lavender lemonade is really tasty. I don't drink a lot of the sugary drinks, but um, you can even do basil basil lemonade. So you've got a lot of options and I don't know, I hope this gave, gave you guys some ideas and other ways of looking at some of your essential oils and how you can use them. Um, yeah, just be careful that they have the supplement facts on the side. That's a big deal. And know that they're safe and also know that, you know, we've actually, believe it or not, some people are saying, some, there's a school of thought that has no essential oils internally, right? If you're an aromatherapist, and you've been working for a long time with essential oils that may have been adulterated or diluted, um, you do not want to take them internally. You just simply don't. However, with, this, with doTERRA, because of how they're sourced and because of, more importantly, how they're tested, every single liter to make sure that they're completely pure, there's only pure plant product in this, you can actually take them internally safely. Now you wanna do small frequent daily doses. The max dosage for a number of drops in a day I think is 24. I don't think I've ever taken 24 drops in a full day. You're just adding one or two drops a few times a day, here and there, wherever you want to, and it's perfectly safe. Our liver is actually equipped to process out um, and metabolize the essential oils just like it does all the other food and all the other gunk and the medications and the synthetic chemicals that we put in our body and on our body. So, but as far as you and your comfort level about taking them internally, I'm gonna leave that up to you. I'm just gonna say that I do, I have for many years now, and well, I'm healthy. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Talk to you later.